continuing to watch Dragon's recovery. At this point, the teams have already lowered the vessel's hydraulic lift mechanism down into the water as they're getting ready to bring that Dragon spacecraft up into the on-deck translation system that SpaceX decided to call the Nest. And Dragon's going to remain in that nest during its journey back to the coast, where it's going to arrive at Port Canaveral, Florida. And we're expecting that to take about 30 hours or so. For this mission, it'll take them that long to make their way back because they're a little over 200 nautical miles out to sea. But for crewed missions, as we've said, the landing zone is only going to be a couple hours ride away from port. And that's just so SpaceX can quickly get those returning astronauts back to dry land, where things are a little bit stable. And after you've been in microgravity for about six months, your feet <laughs> will probably appreciate that. Uh, the capsule pretty soon, though, is going to get lifted and set into that nest. And then they're going to center and orient the vehicle. And then Dragon will eventually get transloaded, translated into the hangar aboard the ship so that uh, the teams can open up the hatch. And for missions with astronauts aboard, we're almost at the point where the recovery teams will be assisting the crew to get out of Dragon. So we're almost there. That would happen shortly after they get back onto the ship. Uh, in aerospace terms, we call that the crew's egress from the spacecraft. And under the typical circumstances, uh, the SpaceX recovery team is going to be helping out the crew of Dragon uh, within one hour of landing. Yeah, so you can see on your screen there, Dragon is getting closer and closer to the back end of the recovery ship. Excuse me, the recovery ship. Just a, a minute or two ago, we saw the crew member that was responsible for attaching all the appropriate rigging to the vessel jump off the capsule and back into the water. Uh, and uh, right now, we're just waiting for Dragon to lift up and out of the water and into the nest. And there it goes. <laughs> So there facing us is what we call the side hatch, and that is where, as Dan just mentioned, the astronauts would, if we had astronauts on board today, where they would be exiting. Um, the top hatch is what we use to connect to the ISS, and that is currently hidden underneath the nose cone. Um, but like we said, astronauts will be coming out of the side hatch. Um, yeah, and we got a beautiful shot there. Now the hydraulic lift is coming back, uh, back towards us, um, and it is preparing to lower the Dragon capsule into its nest. Like we said, we are treating this demonstration mission um, with the recovery operations as if there were actual astronauts on board. Uh, and of course, before we were able, would be able to open the hatch, we would have to make sure that the spacecraft's cabin pressure is equalized with the outside environment before doing so. Uh, so once Dragon is seated, and you can hear some cheers behind me uh, as the remaining folks that we have here on the SpaceX team outside of mission control uh, are cheering with the placement of Dragon into the nest there, as you can see. You might also notice that uh, the thermal protective system that we have on the outside of Dragon, if you were watching during launch, was a pristine white. <laughs> of course, upon re-entry, like we mentioned before, there was plasma, uh, of course, as it re-entered through Earth's atmosphere. So we have, a, we have a lovely toasted marshmallow there sitting <laughs> in 